Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you how to make nice graphs that you can use for your economics courses by using freely available software or a web tool. So what we want to do is we want to enter My Econ Lab Grapher and we want to Google that. So we're going to Google My Econ Lab Grapher and uh, the first result I get is the link we want to select. So I'm going to select this link and you'll need to have Adobe Flash uh, installed. And so here is our graphing interface. And the first thing I like to do is go to the Edit and select Graph Settings. And I want to hit this radial dial right here, uh, which is a anisotropic. I want that setting. So the second setting here, anisotropic. And we could select a title for our graph. Okay. Um, utility maximization for example if we want we can show a grid I'll select that and then I'll hit OK uh, we can adjust the values on the axes so maybe our y-axis goes to a maximum of 50 so you can select minimum and maximum um, uh, we can have our tick spacing, you know, maybe every five. Uh, we can put a label on it. I'll display this label to the left of the graph, so we can call this units of good Y. And let's go to the x-axis. We'll call this units of good X. And we'll have it just go up to 10. I'll hit OK here. So we got our units of good Y going from 0 to 50, units of good X going from 0 to 10. Let's go ahead and put a budget constraint in here. Uh, we can use these various graphing tools, so the straight line graphing tool for budget constraint. Maybe the consumer's budget constraint looks something like this. And let's go ahead and put an indifference curve in here, so we can use this three-point curved line tool to draw an indifference curve. Tangency here somewhere. And we can label that in difference curve. Put an I next to it. And we can locate our consumer's equilibrium. Let's say it's at 20 and 4 units. You'll notice I have 4.04 .04 here, so I can use my arrow key on my keyboard to move that over to get exactly four. Um, we can put arrows in here if we want. Okay. Um, if you wanted to label things, you got the ability to put in triangles if you want to show areas of consumer and producer surplus, for example. Okay, you can put in some triangles for that. Uh, you can change the coloring of these lines. So it's a pretty nice tool. Um, and like I said, it's available to you for free. You can then, if you like, you can save this. File save. You can save this uh, picture, this uh, file to your computer, save this graph, and then you can open it up and put it in your Word document, for example, or in a PowerPoint presentation or a report. Okay, uh, that's it. I hope you will uh, try to use this tool.